Hey friends, welcome back to Whiskey and Wit. I'm Whitney and today's video is day four of the 12 days of Christmas here on my channel. Today we are doing a quick and easy DIY Dollar Tree supplies. So I know you guys would love that. We're gonna make this farmhouse door hanger that you see behind me, so stay tuned. What you'll need for this project from the Dollar Tree are five of the bell ornaments, one of these pre-made door hangers because you'll deconstruct it, a pack of the jute twine, and then a ribbon of your choice. So step one is to deconstruct that hanger. I just cut off all the pieces and took off the silver outside. And then I deconstructed the bells, so each of them has a little zip tie holding that thing on top, so I just cut it and removed it, because you're going to need that off to hook it to the overall piece, but then I glued them back on later. Then I went through and deconstructed all of the tops of the bells, so I knew what I had in each piece. Then I took some hot glue and I basically outlined that ring so then that way all of the jute twine was sticking to the ring. I liked using glue all the way around because then that way it made sure that everything stuck and that your handle is not going to pop off or fray or, you know, get all discombobulated because it's not all stuck down. So I continued that process with the hot glue and wrapping it around throughout the entire hanger. The kicker here is to use a shorter piece of jute twine, so cut them shorter and then just glue them on. It looks just fine, but it is way easier without that getting like tangled at the end. I learned that the hard way. So then once you cover that, then you're going to get out a tape measure and measure three pieces of string to these various lengths. So I did 16 inches, 20 inches, 24 inches, 30 inches, and 36 inches. You can obviously adjust this based on how big you want your piece to be, but those lengths worked out pretty well for me. So then once I cut those five pieces, then I went through and made two more duplicates of that. So in total, you're going to end up with 15 pieces of jute twine three for each bell in various lengths. So then you're going to take your groups of three of the same length and feed them through the top of the bell. Then separate the pieces into three groups of two, and then I just traditionally braided them. One, this makes your piece a little bit thicker. I was going to use nautical rope, but it wouldn't fit in the hole there, and also it just makes it a lot more sturdy. And then once you finish braiding, take some tape and put it at the end so your stuff doesn't unravel while you're working on the other bells. Pro tip, putting it between your knees works out the best because then it's not rolling around on the table. Once you braid all of your different lengths of bell string, then I went back, cut off the tape, and then I started measuring out on the ring. So I started right dead center with the longest piece, and then I did the next longest to the left, the next longest to the right, the next longest on the other side of the left and then on the right so then that way it kind of gave a cascading look. Once I got through that I double knotted everything at the top and then I took some jute twine and wrapped it around that collection at the top just to kind of clean it up. It looked a little crazy. I wanted to tie them all together but that just wasn't working so I tied them individually and kind of faked it. Then this step is completely optional but I grabbed some ribbon that I had at my house and added some kind of filler on the back just so then that way it looked a little fuller and I went through and trimmed the ribbon. The burlap ribbon came from Michaels and the buffalo truck came from Walmart. And so you could totally leave it as is if you're planning on using this into kind of the winter time or if you just wanted a general kind of farmhouse set of bells, you could totally leave it as is. But because this is 12 days of Christmas, I decided to jack it up a little bit. So I went back through, um, like I showed you before, you want to keep that stuff that you took off the top of the bells. 
So these little burlap kind of bows, I glued them back together so they were in the shape that I wanted. And then I glued them to the top of the bell. And then I also grabbed one of the kind of greenery pieces and each bell came with two pieces. It was a little too much for me, so I just added the one piece. Honestly, here it is all personal preference. You can add back on the pine cones, you could do whatever. And then at the top, I added two pieces of greenery and the largest pine cone that I had left over for a little bit of an accent. I really love how this turned out. It does take a little bit of time, but it is super easy. You could customize with the different color bells that they have at the Dollar Tree. You could customize with different kinds of ribbon, different add-ons. Literally, the sky's the limit, but I really love these farmhouse bells, and these are way cheaper than if you bought them in the store. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you create one of these projects, please be sure to post a photo and tag me. I love to see what you guys create. Be sure to hit subscribe down below so you don't miss a future 12 Days of Christmas video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!